the number one reason why relationships fail in my view the number one reason why women are so miserable and no matter how much success they have they cannot have happiness and they cannot have the thing that's most important to them companionship of a man they admire and enjoy being with is because they forget the biggest rule of life that is to get what you want you have to give others what they want that's actually the fastest way to obtain anything that we want is by giving others what they want uh, going back to the same old simple principles of if you want to succeed if you want to be wealthy find a product that people want and need and are willing to pay for it really is as simple as that back to the main uh, subject of relationships and why so many women in the West mostly are unhappy is because I am uh, you know I am as as forward-thinking as as the next guy you know I believe in 100 uh, percent freedom of, of women politically politically and business wise and in every other way women should be having the same 100 uh, percent rights and opportunities as men do I sincerely believe in that but if you look at the old movies if you look at old movies uh, as especially uh, the ones from the from the Middle East let's say you know let's be realistic where civilization started you will see that in relationships uh, it was the man that the women looked up to it was the man that women looked for guidance it was like you know almost like uh, almost like a uh, you are uh, you're a father and you've got your little uh, you know uh, a child little girl little daughter with you you know or, or a little boy your your son and he follows your orders looks up to you respects you and does what you tell them the relationship between husband and wife was like that not that the man ordered her around and and imprisoned her and and told her what to do and how to live her life and what to say and what to be but she naturally instinctively looked up to him looked for his guidance looked for his advice looked for his leadership and looked for his strength because those are, we're going back to the beginning now of, of civilization because those were how nature was that was the the natural order of nature and the way things you know ought to be woman played the woman's role and men played the man's role and it felt good for both of them she felt protected she felt cared for she felt respected she felt honored she felt valued and he felt in control he felt like he had someone to protect with all his strength and abilities someone to to look uh, out for someone to guide someone who is genuinely responsible for and someone who he would you know protect with his life and that is really how it was you you see those old movies especially those old um, movies from the east and you will see this and it really is enjoyable for for both of them you see the man uh, coming home after a long day of work and she's prepared uh, you know a meal for him and, and whatever if, if she chooses to stay home and work you know but uh, she felt she was she was taken care of she was protected even now to this day you go to Middle East you go to countries uh, you know the, where the wealthy Arabs are and uh, well these women are are, um, are protected in terms of uh, the, the religious uh, orders that makes them cover up and everything however they never have to work a day in their life they have maids and servants they have uh, workers drivers gardeners cooks the husband takes care of them they never have to lift a finger sure they uh, they would prefer to have more freedoms in terms of covering up and everything and many of them are having that freedom now actually the countries in the Middle East where women are forced to cover up are very 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 few if you've traveled to Middle East you see uh, uh, maybe Saudi Arabia which uh, is, is rapidly removing those restrictions 
and Iran, which is a, a, a tyrannical dictatorship occupied by uh, extremists at the moment. But my point is, this is how the order of things are, this is how relationships are over there, and although uh, they are not serenely happy without any problems, but in terms of the, the, the method of relationship, they are very happy and it works for them. And remember, they've been around much longer than we have in the West. They've been around for thousands of years. And we've only been around 220 years and we have the most miserable, most miserable uh, divorce laws that not only really doesn't help either men or women, it actually has served to dissuade men from getting married. And can you blame them? Can you blame him for being afraid to get married uh, because he knows that at will she could stop the divorce at any time and regardless of whose fault it is he will stand to lose 60 to 70 percent of everything he's worked for including uh, the ability to see his children so in my view the point of this video is this is why the women in the west are miserable they have everything they have their home they have their money they have their job they have they, a lot of them make much more money than men do because right now in the West, that's the trend. You know, the women and minorities are, uh, are uh, 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 being taken advantage of and so we must give them everything they want at the cost of the rest of the society. But you see they're miserable. You look at them. You look at them on the websites. You look at them on the dating sites for months, years, decades at a time jumping from one man to the other if they're lucky enough to be able to get a date and a lot of if they are good looking a lot of men yeah play around with them but very very few stay and the ones that do want to stay with them those are not the type of men these women want anyway think about what I've said if you have a chance watch those old uh, movies from the Middle East and you'll see what I mean it's apparent in the demeanor it's apparent and you'll see you'll see how a man you'll get reminded how a man wants to and should feel and how it's natural for a man to feel in a relationship with a woman and how it is how it is supposed to be when men and women are together for romantic reasons he's the leader he's the strength and she she follows and she's protected willingly willingly she follows not that she's being ordered around she wants it no matter what women tell you, they love the man that has strength and can protect them. And the ones who say, I want him to make six figures and be strong. Why do you think that is? Because deep down inside, they want the power. They want a man who's powerful. They don't want some loser who sits home and watch, plays video games and says, can I have money to go buy lunch? The only reason, let's face it, money equals power. The only reason they want a man who makes even more money than they do is because they want someone who's stronger than they are. And men don't want a woman who's already a millionaire and, and uh, has an attitude of a man and, and acts and feels and behaves like a man but only looks like a woman. And we as heterosexual men don't want another man. We want a woman. We want a feminine, delicate woman who acts like a woman who acts her role in society and is not trying to be a man and a woman at the same time. All the best, till the next time, saying it like it is. Seymour, signing out.